ఫైలర్ ఆనరబుల్ శ్రీ జస్టిస్ ఎం సత్యనామూర్తి గారు జడ్జి హైకోర్టు ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఆనరబుల్ శ్రీ జస్టిస్ భట్టు దేవానంద్ గారు జడ్జి హైకోర్టు ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అండ్ అవర్ బిలోవర్డ్ సిస్టర్ ఆనరబుల్ శ్రీమతి జస్టిస్ కొంగర విజయలక్ష్మి గారు జడ్జి హైకోర్టు ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ అండ్ అవర్ బిలోవర్డ్ ఆనరబుల్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ జస్టిస్ జడ్జ్ శ్రీ గూడూరు రామకృష్ణ గారు అండ్ అదర్ ఆనరబుల్ లోకల్ జ్యుడిషియల్ ఆఫీస్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది లీగల్ ఫెర్టినిటీ పార్టిసిపేట్స్ ఇన్ ది ఆగస్ట్ టు డేస్ ఫంక్షన్ త్రూ వీడియో కాన్ఫరెన్స్ ప్రింట్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్ మీడియా లేడీస్ అండ్ జెంటిల్మెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ గ్రేట్ ప్లెజర్ బీయింగ్ ది ప్రెసిడెంట్ ఆఫ్ మచ్చిపట్నం బార్ అసోసియేషన్ టు ఇన్వైట్ ఆల్ ది ఆనరబుల్ డిగ్నిటీస్ ఫర్ టుడేస్ ఇనాగ్రేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఫోక్సా కోర్ట్ హ్యాజ్ వీ చెరిష్డ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఫోక్సా కోర్ట్ అట్ మచిలీపట్నం బీయింగ్ జ్యుడిషియల్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ హెడ్ కోర్ట్స్ అట్ కృష్ణా డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ వీ ఫెల్ట్ ఇమెన్స్ హ్యాపీ ఫర్ శాంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ న్యూ కోర్ట్ ఫర్ ట్రయల్ ఆఫ్ సెషన్స్ కోర్ ట్రయల్ ఆఫ్ కేసెస్ అండర్ ఫోక్సా యాక్ట్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వెల్వ్ ఇన్ ది గోల్డెన్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ లార్డ్షిప్ టుడే అట్ మచిలీపట్నం మచిలీపట్నం బార్ అసోసియేషన్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఏన్షియంట్ బార్ అసోసియేషన్ ఇట్ హ్యాడ్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఫంక్షనింగ్ ఇన్ ది ఇయర్ ఎయిటీన్ ఎయిటీ టూ అండ్ ఇట్ హ్యాడ్ విట్నెస్ సో మెనీ స్టాల్ వార్స్ ఇన్ లీగల్ ఫెర్టినిటీ మచిలీపట్నం బార్ అసోసియేషన్ హ్యాడ్ హెల్డ్ సెంటనరీ సెలబ్రేషన్స్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ ఎయిటీ టూ అండ్ హెల్డ్ వన్ థర్టీ ఇయర్స్ సెలబ్రేషన్స్ ఆల్సో ది ఎంటైర్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ బార్ అసోసియేషన్ ఆర్ హైలీ ఇండిపెండెంట్ టు ది ఆనరబుల్ హైకోర్ట్ ఫర్ హ్యావింగ్ శాంక్షన్ ది ఫోక్సా కోర్ట్ అట్ మచిలీపట్నం ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు సబ్మిట్ మై లార్డ్స్ దట్ అవర్ బార్ అసోసియేషన్ హ్యాజ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ ఆనరబుల్ శ్రీ జస్టిస్ జాస్తి చలమేశ్వరరావు గారు బీయింగ్ ఫార్మర్ జడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ ఆనరబుల్ సుప్రీం కోర్ట్ ఐ ఫర్దర్ సబ్మిట్ మై లార్డ్స్ ఆనరబుల్ శ్రీ జస్టిస్ మల్లవర్ సత్యనారాయణ గారు జడ్జి హైకోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ హూ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది స్టాల్ వార్డ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ బార్ హూ ఈజ్ ఎ లివింగ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ బార్ అసోసియేషన్ ఐ ఫర్దర్ సబ్మిట్ మై లార్డ్స్ దట్ ఆనరబుల్ జస్టిస్ శ్రీ భట్టు దేవానంద్ గారు అండ్ మై లార్డ్స్ దట్ అవర్ బిలోవర్ సిస్టర్ శ్రీ ఆనరబుల్ జస్టిస్ శ్రీమతి కొంగర్ విజయలక్ష్మి గారు జడ్జి హైకోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఆల్సో బిలాంగ్స్ టు అవర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ హూ ఈ సాల్గేట్ అవర్ లార్డ్షిప్ బ్లెస్సింగ్స్ అండ్ సపోర్ట్ అండ్ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ బార్ అసోసియేషన్ హూ ఆర్ వెరీ మచ్ beholding to our last ships for gracious occasion of this memorable event in the history of bar association majlipatnam i am very thankful to the members of our bar association who extended their whole hearted support for success of today's function for the inauguration of oxa court virtually by our last ships golden hands thanks you once again my lords and our blessed honorable principal judge sri guru ramkrishna garu for success today's function Good morning to everybody. I, Sita Ram, President of the Bar Association, Kadapa, heartily uh, welcome Honorable Chief Justice Sri Prashant Kumar Mishra Garu and Sri Justice Matam Venkatramana Garu, Administrative Judge of Kadapa District. And I heartily uh, welcome with the gracious sanction of the uh, uh, 7th additional district court and uh, uh, sessions court and special court for the offenses of uh, uh, against offenses against women uh, we are very happy to inaugurate the same by the uh, digital by honorable chief justice uh, prashant mishra garu and uh, administrative judge ji sri matam venkatramana garu and we are very much happy on this because we are so years together waited for it and now they are full built and uh, our bar association is very very much extend our cooperation to the fullest extent in all respects and uh, this is the time and i also request the chief justice and the administrative judge of kadapa uh, 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 to re- establish a uh, new building in uh, kadapa headquarters because the old building has been uh, de- uh, de- demolished so i kindly request the lordships to uh, finish the same uh, as earlier recording earlier, has started uh, as earlier as possible and i also request the surrounding courts of sidot nandalur and rajarpet most of the advocates of kadapa are going to attend the courts those Both new buildings may also be finished within a short time. I once again uh, uh, heartbeat congratulations for the gracious sanction of this court and uh, I request the Honorable Justice to once again 
to cooperate in all the establishment of the new post in Iran. I once again welcome and I will cooperate our bar association uh, uh, in all respects. Mm -hmm. I have an honor of requesting Honorable Sri Justice M. Sachinan Mukti to deliver the, his righteous message on the situation. May I have Honorable Chief Justice, President Amar Gishka Ji, Amar Allah Ji, Judge, Administrative Judge of Krishna State, Mr. Venkat Ramana, Judge, High Court of Andhra Pradesh and Administrative Judge of uh, and Mr. Devan, who belongs to Krishna State, and Srimati Vijay Lakshmi in our absence, and my senior judges, Judge Mr. Ravin Kumar, who is appearing on the screen, and Swamay Ajulu, Judge High Court of Andhra Pradesh, and Banumati, who are appearing on the screen, the President of the Bar. Both bar associations, the resident session judge, Ganga, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ganga Rao, <laughs> and Mr. C. Honorable <coughs> Justice C. Ganga Rao, Judge High Court of Honor Police, and both principal and principal district session judges, districts. Today, uh, it is my turn being a member of the bar association, Machiri Patna Mehliya. Not out. I practiced there for 10 years as an advocate for some uh, advocate. And I know something about the Bar Association. <coughs> the court at Machini Patnam is one of the ancient courts and it was established at the uh, year 1802 <coughs> and it was under the control of Madras province. And it, uh, they have got jurisdiction from Thara to Berhampur uh, and, uh, and use it to deal with their appeals as a provincial court of appeals, Northern Division, covering Srikakulam, Berhampur, Vizagapattam, not Visagapattam, Vizagapattam and other districts up to Thara. And now the court has become a skeleton. Most of the jurisdiction of the court is stripped off by establishment of various courts to achieve the object of access to justice, which is guaranteed under Article 21 of the Constitution of India and uh, under Article 39A of the Constitution to provide free justice to MLA. The existing jurisdiction of the court set Machiri Pattam is nothing but a skeletal remains as an end. Initially, the jurisdiction of this court, jurisdiction to deal with this basis and a court act were entrusted to first station on the state judge at Machiri Pattam. But on account of directions issued by the Apex Court, the government addressed a letter to the High Court to suggest recommend force for establishment of establishment of force to deal with the offences punishable under the particular enactment. Then this court uh, took a sudden decision uh, to establish, to make a recommendation to establish a court at Vijayawada, stripping, stripping of the jurisdiction with the Irish first edition of the Sajjaja at Machini Patna. Then most of the members became panic. So they are unconcerned, except loss of work. They approached the High Court. Justice Pramil Kumar Ji has taken a lead on the recommended representation of the members of the bar. And he took pains and ultimately a recommendation was made for the establishment of a special court at Machiri Patna, a special court at Machiri Patna. And today, the, it is being inaugurated after uh, one of year from the date of sanction for different reasons. In fact, 
The evacuates are not illusions. But no litigant probably can approach the High Court for establishment of court at Manchini Patnam since they are the sufferers because they are using access to justice, easy access to justice and inexpensive justice. Otherwise they have to travel from long distances to uh, appear before the court at Vijayawada. Despite the situation prevailing in the district, though no request was made by litigant public, till the court of High Court of Madhya Pradesh is considered to in accepting the request and made a recommendation. Of course, the members of the bar persuaded with the government with the local politicians and got Sanctioned a court has been uh, inaugurated today. And bar is, though ancient, but it lost its glamour in dispensing, uh, in rendering justice to the public. Because the handles in the bar, more particularly, but now, is reduced to minimum extent. They are not living up to the expected standards, more particularly the present situation, to meet the present situation. So my request to all the advocates to rededicate their lives to the noble cause of justice again and try strive hard and cooperate with the judges working there for disposal. But everyone concerned with the pendency, but even if we establish 100 courts at Majali Patna, it is difficult to reduce the pendency unless there is cooperation from the judges. Advocates. So my request to all the advocates is to extend the fullest cooperation without taking adjournments because of establishment of more courts and engaging in the other courts. In these few words, I am concluding as you all waiting for didactic address by Honorable the Chief Justice and the Portfolio Judge, Honorable Chief. Now, I have the honor requesting Honorable the Chief Justice for the Devanand to deliver his Lordship's message on the same issue. My elder brothers, the Honorable Chief Justice, Prashant Kumar Mishra, the Ashaduddin Aman Mulaji, Justice and Sachina Rai Murti, some of the Saiva Vitrishna Vishti, the Justice Samu Vekrasham Nazi, the Administrative Judge of Padkar Vishti, Honorable Judge, the Pravin Kumar, Justice Swami Azmu, Justice Ramaram, Justice Vagnathil Hari, and Justice Parmathir for attending this program. And the Ramakrishna District Judge of Krishna District, Principal District Judge of Krishna District, and Purushottam Kumar of Principal District Judge of Kadapa District. All other judicial officers, police stars, advocate friends, and ladies and gentlemen. This is a very happy occasion to meet all of you on this occasion for the inauguration of the both so both at Machri Patna and both to deal with the offences against the woman at Karpa. We are very thankful to the legislature and the executive for making enactments to that effect, establishing those courts for speedy disposal of the cases against the children and the woman. I hope 
all the judicial officers and advocates will do their best for these speedy disposal of those cases. However, on this occasion, I want to touch this issue on differently. Yatra Nagat to Pujante, Yatra Devan on the It means where women are honored, gods reside there. Mahila Yatra Pujan Sparthero, Yavatra Yatra was his time. But in this holy land of India, now we have to establish special courts to deal with the offences with regard to the children and women. Very unfortunate situation. I pray that one day will come. There is no necessity for these courts in our country. Thank you. Now, I have the honor of to request the Honorable Sri Justice Asamadin Arnamulaji, Judge High Court of Andhra Pradesh, and the Crystal Judge of Krishna District to give his last message. Respected Honorable Chief Justice, Mr. Prashant Kumar Mishra, my esteemed colleagues, Mr. Satnanayan Murthy, Mr. Praveen Kumar, Mr. Satnanayan Murthy, Mr. Sankar Tramna, Brother Ganga, Brother Tilhari, Brother Samai Dulu, Sister Vijay Lakshmi and Brother Sister Bhanamati, and all my other colleagues who may be part of the proceedings of their respective places, the registry, members of the bar, the district judiciary, district administration, and all the litigants and also the administrative staff of the courts and all persons who are attached in this program. <coughs> and Justice Manmadra also came. Welcome. Anurakaniki, Amma Adarsham, Arukyaniki, Sri Sai Homeo Stores and Clinic, Anupavam, Arhata, Ankita Bavam Kala Doctor Lati, Tikisa, Andi Rakala Aruki Samasilaku, Namakamaina Yempika, Sri Sai Homeo Stores and Clinic, Diabetes, Kilanopulu, Sayatika, Vendumukat Samasilu, Thyroid, Nidra Lemi, Manasika Samasilu, Rutu Samasilu, Anirakala Dika Kalika Vyadulaku, Pratika Homeo Vaidyam, Andariki Andupatulu, Antajati Homeo Vaidyam, Sri Sai Homeo Stores and Clinic, Mi Aroge Samasya Yedina, Ipuru Parishkaram Sadyam, Side effect to any Vaidyam to Sampurna Arokin Koraku, Sampradin Chandi, Sri Sai Homeo Clinic and Stores, Bhavani Nagar, Ambedkar Nagar Road, Old Alwal, Sikindrabad. Sampradin Chalsina phone numbers 90-00-75-1751 Mariu 90-00-42-2525 I am thankful to Honorable Chief Justice for having agreed to inaugurate this function. Uh, his encouragement has always been there. But actually the credit would go to the people and the court in Krishna district who made this possible. We only give guidance from here. And though Krishna district may be the number two, second district in the state of Andhra Pradesh to have this Guntur. Uh, I was told that Guntur has one. No. Oh, so you are number one. So coming that again is an occasion to celebrate. Uh, I then respect for children. Now look, we have to have special laws for their protection. But what to do? It is the need of the hour, it is the need of the society. It's a long question. I wish all of you, Machir Patan, as Brother Murthy has said, Brother Satnaya Murthy, it's 1802. Uh, it's, it's a very, very uh, heavy and very proud moment for all of you that uh, you are over 200 years old. But the only that, uh, issue which dampens the state is that your jurisdictions have been reduced and the quality has gone down. This is something which is in your hands. I would also 
endorsed the view of uh, Brother Satna and Murthy that the bar has a responsibility that if you cannot raise the standard, at least not let it fall down. I think that is happening, it's a sad comment. And we should not blame that we don't get cases. The moment you raise the standard, the moment you give what the client needs, the quality, people will come to you. Till there is vacuum at the top, there is vacuum of people who are sincere, who devote their time in their profession. Now it is high time. You do your job, forget. People will come to you, clients will come to you. The bar has a very major responsibility in the society, in all aspects. I wish you everybody all the best and not take too much of time. And I would endorse the uh, demand, so called demand of uh, the President of the Bar at Kadapa to the Honorable Judge and also to the Chief Justice for establishing a new court building. Take care, be safe. We are still passing through a critical phase. Be safe, take care. But yes, work should go on with the result that we have to deliver. Statistics are also important. And kindly remember that the child-friendly court should not remain only on ground as a statistic. Kindly use that for the purpose it is meant. Thank you so much and wishing you all the best. Thank you. My Lord, the Chief Justice, Rajiv, my brothers, Justice Amanullah, Justice Pravit Kumar, Justice Sajnan Murthy, Justice Samaya Jalal, Justice Devan, Justice Tilahari, Justice Manwadara, Justice Banamath, Presidents of Bar Association, Mashri Bhattam Kadapa, Registrars of this court, Land Principal District Judges of Krishna and Kadapa, Jewish officers and members of the bar, ladies and gentlemen. I am really happy to associate myself with this great function. This is a court which was sanctioned back in the year 2006. Now a day has come for us to have the inauguration by Honorable Chief Justice. You know the purpose of establishing this court is only meant for trying cases under section 376 IPC and 356, 354 IPC. This occasion is reminding me of the history of Kadapa and the events that went on which are associated with this judiciary. It was a court established back in the year 1806 as a Jilla court and which had jurisdiction almost covering the entire four districts of Ryerson. Later on, an account of various events that followed, including independence of India and bifurcation of judiciary from executive. Back in the year 1949, a sessions court was established at Kadapa as I, go, as I went through the history of Kadapa state, so far as judiciary is concerned. Now, it has seven additional district courts. What was started as a single court as sessions court, it has now seven additional courts. This is an occasion for the members of the bar to take note of and it is for them to apply themselves particularly to meet the requirements of the litigant public. You know the purpose as I already have told you, it is probably gender specific. You are all expected to cooperate with the bench and to see that the cases relating to these offences are disposed of as expeditiously as possible. A fast, fast tracking mechanism cannot have a death in hands of certain individuals who do not like to cooperate with the procedures and the bench. I take this opportunity to congratulate the Principal District Kadapa as well as Principal District Krishna in getting established these two courts and also congratulate the members of the bar in having these additional facilities. Thank you very much. No. I have the privilege of inviting Honorable Justice Prashant Kumar Vishwaji, Chief Justice.
हाईकोर्ट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश टू डिजिटली इनोग्रेट स्पेशल कोर्ट फॉर ट्रायल ऑफ अफेंसेस द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ सिविल्स और सेक्सुअल अफेंसेस बोक्स एक्ट टू थाउजेंडपट्टन एंड सेवन एडिशनल डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड सेशन कोर्ट कम स्पेशल कोर्ट फॉर ट्रायल ऑफ अफेंसेस इन सीमेन एंड कड़पा
present on the dais and my esteemed brother Justice C. Tamil Kumar, Justice Sumaya Jiru, Justice Ganga Rao, Justice Tidari, Justice Bhanamati and Justice Nanada Rao present on the screen gracing the occasion. The principal district judge Machri Patnam G. Ramakrishna and Principal District Judge Karapa C. Prasutam Kumar, President of Machri Patnam Bar Association C. Mihar Prasad and President Bar Association Karapa C. D. Sitaram, Sitaram, Prashad Jadal, Yavin Babu and members of the Registry. It gives me immense pleasure to be here and this is one of the finest moments in my life where I am here to inaugurate a court in one of the oldest buildings maybe in the country. This building I am told at Mashri Patnam is 250 years old although the court was established at, uh, in the year 1802 it is not true. And uh, likewise, the Sarapa court was also established at, at, in the year 1806. And though the district court itself at Sarapa was established somewhere in 1948-49. The history of these courts would tell us that they have, they have withered the time and challenges and are stoutly there to dispense justice for the people who are subject to the jurisdiction at relevant, relevant point of time. Oxford Court at Patri Patnam is the first court in the state to be established and good to probably and this uh, seventh additional session judge court, district and session judge court, county special court at Karappa is carved out after the one court at Guntur was shifted to uh, Karappa. It is the need of the hour, though offenses against women and children are increasing, but at the same time, we are here to face the challenge and to have a deterrent effect establish more and more courts to send the culprits at the place they deserve. The members of the bar at both the courts, that is at Mashri Patnam and Karapa, they deserve <coughs> special good wishes for this day. Good wishes not only for having an additional court, but they need good wishes to protect the offenders while protecting those accused who may be innocent. But at the same time, their efforts should be to assist the justice delivery system in reaching to a right decision. Their duty is not only towards the client, but the duty is to see that the person who has committed wrong should not be let loose. And one who is innocent should not be sent behind the bars. Our duty to see that the cause of justice delivery system marches ahead in a transparent and unpolluted manner has become 
hard and harder on each passing day. We are required to maintain highest standards in dealing with the court proceedings, be it at the end of lawyer or at the end of judge. We both are responsible to see that the system travels in an uncorrupted manner. We are really very happy to be here, although all of us wanted to be at the respective old buildings to inaugurate physically. But this is another time of challenge, this is COVID period and uh, we, are, we are not able to reach there physically, but our hearts and souls are there with all those who deserve peaceful place on this happy occasion. I wish good luck to the members of the bar, the person presiding officers and the principal district judges and also the uh, citizens of the area. Thank you so much. Now, I will push the principal district judge Krishna district to propose a lot of thanks. Namaste my lads and good morning to all. I deem it as an honor to propose a vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. First and foremost, I thank my, my Lord Honorable Sri Justice Prasant Kumar Ji, Chief Justice High Court of Andhra Pradesh, who despite his Lordship's busy schedule has found time for digital inauguration of the Special Court for Trial of Offenses under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses Act 2012 at Machili Patnam and the digital inauguration of 7th additional district and sessions judge court come special court for trial of offenses against women at Kadapa. I also express my heartfelt gratitude to his lordship, Honorable Sri Justice Asanuddin Amanullah Ji, Judge High Court of Andhra Pradesh and Administrator Judge of Krishna District for his lordship's timely guidance and support in organization of this great event. I convey my sincere thanks to Honorable C. Justice M. Sachan Murthy Garu, Honorable Srimati Justice K. Vijay Lakshmi Garu, and Honorable Sri Justice Bhattu Devananda Garu, the judges of Honorable High Court of Andhra Pradesh, and sons and daughter of this soil for sparing their valuable time to participate in this memorable event. And also, I thank Honorable Judges Sri Praveen Kumar Garu, Ganga Ram Garu. Bhanumati Garu and other honorable judges who are gracing this occasion by sparing their valuable time. I convey my sincere thanks to Honorable Justice M. Venkata Ramana Garu, Judge of Andhra Pradesh High Court and Administrator Judge of Kadapa District for gracing the occasion of inauguration of 7th additional district and session judge court come special court for trial of offenses against women at Kadapa. I take it as an opportunity to express my heartfelt thanks to the Honorable Registrar General, Honorable Registrar Vigilance, Honorable Registrar Administration, and Honorable Registrar IT of Honorable High Court of Andhra Pradesh for unstinted support and guidance they have extended. I also extend my thanks to the District Collector Krishna who, and also the DRO who assured to provide new furniture to this new court. I express my sincere gratitude to the management of NRI Institute of Technology Agaripalli for providing necessary equipment through Dr. Ravi Venkatraugar and his team. I convey my thanks to the Department of Electricity and BSNL for providing uninterrupted power supply and internet connectivity throughout the program. I express my sincere thanks to the R&B Department for their cooperation and I convey my thanks to my colleague officers, the President and members of the Bar Association Majri Patnam and course staff for their cooperation and coordination for successful organization of this function. I convey my special thanks to the Information and Public Relations Department for their cooperation, print and electronic media for providing wide publicity of this program. If I fail to mention name of anybody, it is not intentional, for which I may kindly be excused. Thanks to one and all for making this program a grand success. Thank you very much. I declare that the inaugural function is not
ask him to speak, but you need to hear. Don't ask him to speak, what is the point? Now I request you. The principal decision is Karata to propose quite of things. अत्याधुनिक वैद्य चिकित्सा மீ ஆரோக்ய சமச்ய ஏதைனா இப்படு பரிஷ்காரம் சாத்யம் சம்பூர்ன ஆரோக்யன் கோசம் சம்பரதின் சண்டி பனேசியா மெரிடியன் ஹாஸ்பெடல் ஆபோசிட் வீரங்குடா கமான் ஆர்சி புரம் சங்காரட்டி டிஸ்டிக் 502032 சம்பரதின் சவலசின் போன் நேம்பர் 08455 241777 மரியு 789375770